What's up, mama? <laughs> That's a happy dog, people. Yeah. Listen. What we're gonna talk about is early simulation. Jamarcus has brought it to my attention that you guys are still having trouble with the puppy chewing and potentially destroying your home. Why do you think that happens? The Idle Minds of Devil's Workshop, if you do not take care of your mind, what happens? You start going crazy. Some of y'all start making up stuff in your head and start doing dumb things. So, T-Fit here, Fit Bully TV. Guys, you wanna like it, you wanna subscribe, you wanna share it with someone who needs your help. Look at this. <laughs> Look at these Get dogs. They charged up. Stay Come tuned, on. people. Get out there. Right, so the first thing is, Jamarcus has what we have, I call it a prey pole, because we're going to teach and pray that somebody ever come in our house with these dogs. But it's really a flirt pole. We made it with, via PVC pipe and a little rope. Junior's already showing some intelligence, because he's trying to stay and bite the pole, but look at that. How long do you think a dog does this? And here's the thing. When the dog starts shutting down or start getting close to your leg and stop chasing after it, what ends up happening, and we put, what ends up happening is just go, okay, they're getting tired. So what you then might have to do is actually start running back and forth with the dogs. But these dogs ain't tired of chasing it yet. Look at that there, look at Ooh. that there. Now that right there is what you call motivation. Come here, girl, so good. God, leave that girl's doing good. Ooh, hoo, hoo. See that right there, people? That right there is work at its finest. This will literally keep your dogs objectively from doing what? Tearing your house up. Now, you just letting a dog or a puppy sit around and chill. Let's make sure we keep him in frame too. You just letting your dog shit or chill around your house. I don't know why you think anything you want to just sit and do nothing. Dogs are not created to do nothing. There is no breed outside of potentially the companion breeds and toy breeds. Even some of the toy breeds were designed to do some work. Y'all don't know that a duchess and hound, even a weenie dog, is supposed to go do a little ratty. But this right here will wear a dog out. It's 80, 90 degrees outside today. 80 to 90 degrees. And it's just warming up. It's only like 10 o'clock here in uh, Texas. And they are on a mission already. So imagine this energy and none of it being expended. And y'all think a walk is enough. Lord have mercy. I pray for y'all who just think a walk is good enough. So this is one of the first and early ways that we focus on stimulating the dogs and keeping them inspired. Then we'll put them up for a little bit and then we'll turn around and do what? come out and he'll switch it up and make it more personal when it's one-on-one. -on -one. Go ahead and throw that over the fence and grab the burlap sack out. So what does he got? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you got those cutters up, but that's good because then he's playing with his dog. Look, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, work. Yes, come on, come on, get on there. Yes. So you got the warriors. Up. Look at that there, people. Come on, come on. Look at her, look at her. She got it the other way. Her mirror's tearing the pole off. <laughs> that's crazy, that's crazy people to watch this right here. Oh, that was open. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Yes. So when we brought the burlap sack out, we're trying to drive a little bit more confidence. Confidence is using that to guide them specifically down, let's say, huh, some tires. Could be up a tree, could be into some water, especially as we create motivation. Mind you, these tires, they're warm. So you don't want to keep them on the tires too long, especially after about 12 o'clock in Texas, to be clear. <laughs> but look at that motivation. Woo. There you go. Look Get at on that there. motivation, people. Get on there. One go. on one time. That's how you continue to stimulate your dog yes. and allow your dog to become a better dog Good and girl. not want to chew things up because then the dog's like, hey, can Get we play? In Get in there. Get in And you'll start on, getting the signals on, like, hey, she want to go out and play. She want to go, go out and have some fun. She's a little antsy. All this can be done in the time you're seeing in the backyard. So keep it very simple. Petting your dog, loving your dog, playing with your dog, giving your dog purpose, giving your dog direction. Those are the things that can continue to stop the dog from terrorizing your home. But if a dog just like us are left idly alone to yes. just be a dog, a dog is an animal. What is the animal going to do? Well, we animals. <laughs> what happens when you, what happens when you wanna get into some stuff? You start making phone calls, looking for no good. You say, hey, well, what y'all doing tonight? <laughs> what y'all doing tonight? Boy, I'm over here at the crib, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I'm trying to get out and see something. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're drunk. <laughs> and woke up, got a hangover. Now you gotta eat some fatty food to get through the next day. You got a headache, you need Tylenol, Advil. You need Robitussin. You need uh, Pepto-Bismol. Cause all that bad food you ate. And you think a dog just wanna sit around and look at you all day, stop it. Guys, T-Fit here, Fit Bully TV. Stimulation, burlap sack. Time, energy, effort, 
slurp hole that can be made for less than five dollars that'll actually last to be clear and the most important point is just take care of the dogs